What's going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Terry by Reacts here, and I'm back with another Game of Thrones reaction. You guys have been requesting a lot of videos, okay? And I'm gonna try to knock out as many as I can as soon as you guys suggest them. Of course, somebody suggested a two hour video. Really? You want me to sit down and watch a movie and react to it? Really? And it's not even a movie. <laughs> it's just them talking about Game of Thrones. Man. Like, come on. That's too long. That's too long. <laughs> but anyways, man, if I do have the time, if I do get the time to actually react to that video, I will. No doubt about it. But... We're gonna start off on a little light note today. Um, this one is a parody that was suggested, a parody on the on the song American Pie, so um, called Westerosi Pie. So let's just jump into it, see what this is all about. Let's laugh a little bit before we get into the theories and you know other stuff that are gonna take like 20, 20 plus minutes per video. So let's jump into this Westerosi Pie. Let's go. A long, long time ago, I can still remember when Eddard Stark was not yet dead. <laughs> a very long You'd time ago. You'd think that maybe he'd have learned how good intentions get you burned. And soon enough, the <laughs> his hand for had it. lost his head. For real? Then through the course of several novels, through all the royal house's squabbles, the Westerosi Marquis grew increasingly less starky. And I can't remember if I cried when Maester Lewin was cast aside and something broke me deep inside the way my favorites died. So bye bye every lady and guy From beheadings and red weddings and white walkers and spies Assassins, dragon fire and poison and wine Wonder which will be the way that I die Which will be the way that I die do you remember that first hour with the Lannisters humping in the broken tower and Bran had to take the fall? The butcher's boy got ridden down by Ceres, got his golden crown, and Uncle Benjen bit the dust out beyond the wall. Sirio said not today, but death came for him. <laughs> Renly was the first of his name. Baba the Shadow killed him all the same. Daenerys put the masters in their place while Podrick was rounding past third base. The mountain mushed in Obrin's face the day some more folks died. <laughs> they were singing bye bye, every lady and guy. From the headings and red weddings and white walkers and spies. Joffrey. The assassins, dragon, fire, and poison and wine. Wonder which will be the way that I die. Which will be the way that I die. Oh, true this stuff. John Aaron got planted six feet down. Peter Dinklage's accent went a wandering round. And the dragons ate a la carte. Your scenes went way too long. Payon lived, but he lost his dong. And Sir Jorah Friendzone broke his Khaleesi's heart. Jon Snow discovered oral sex. King Joffrey shat on his subjects. Mance Raider became a roast. The Freys were such shitty hosts that before the bedding could even start the rain. Of Castamere topped the charts. Jamie Lannister sent them his regards the day 
the Starks all died. They were singing by Walter is coming. Every lady a guy from beheadings and red weddings and white walkers and spies. Assassins, dragon, fire, and poison and wine. Wonder which will be the way that I die. Which will be the way that I die. One by one, I guess that's just the price of war. Hodor, 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 Hodor. Lysa flew just like a frisbee. Stannis's daughter got milk. Extra crispy. Tyrion was bitter, shot Tywin on the shitter. <laughs> the Hound and Arya now allies, ate every fucking chicken and stabbed some guys. But now they're all just food for flies. Cause George said all men must die. So bye bye every lady and guy From beheadings and red weddings and white walkers and spies Assassins, dragon, fire and poison and wine Wonder which will be the way that I die Which will be the way that I die They were singing bye bye every lady and guy from beheadings and red weddings and white walkers and spies. Assassins, dragon, fire and poison in wine. Wonder which will be the way that I die. Wow, that was really um, nice. Um... <laughs> Um, it's good now that after this, that after the series, things like this, they can do things like this. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, like it a lot actually. Um, but, um, these things are just, just people, just to show you guys like how, um, how much Game of Thrones is actually loved. It's a very loved show. No matter the debates, no matter the disagreements, you know, it's still a loved show. And that's, that's, I, I think, um, <laughs> I think I commented the other day and I was like, George R. R. Martin is just sitting down in his little lair like, look at them go, look at all of them go. Mm, my plan is working perfectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, like. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I feel like as an author, I think this is exactly what he wanted. This is the environment that he wanted to create, the community he wanted to create around his work, and it's working out perfectly for him. So he was shout out. Shout out to him, man. Great, great author. He created a, a world for us to go, to leave our present one and go to. And that's what I think most um, every storyteller should try to do. Is to take us from our real world and bring us to another world, just like how Harry Potter was. You know, Harry Potter did the same thing. Um, took us to a new world. Took took us out of this world. When you're reading it, you feel like you're actually in Hog Hogwarts, right? So it's it's um it's it's a very it's it's fantasy. It's not necessarily fantasy because I don't think of Game of Thrones as fantasy, but it's is. It's fiction. It's based on a lot of real stuff, but it's it is fiction. You know what I'm saying? So it's not science fiction, but it is fiction. But so it's it's great to see that he took the time out to actually do this for us. And man, people are waiting on them books. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just sitting down like come on, come on, come on, because we want to know what happens, what really happens. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know the book readers. <laughs> 
you know the book readers you know what i'm saying like they they act like they have a whole community by themselves you know and for me it's just like um once i start reading the books i'm not gonna discard what happens in the shows and be like well the show is trash like i'm not gonna do that because Game of Thrones is Game of Thrones, and as I've explained to you guys before, a lot of things are going to happen different, even in the content, even in the content that happened in the book that took place between, what, season one through four, and you, you know, you guys are saying that they didn't have any more material to go on, which is true, because their books weren't, books weren't out, um, so, but even during that thing, where you would consider, quote-unquote, canon stuff, um, it's, it's crazy because when you look at it, a lot of that stuff, they have to portray it a different way in a visual way from the books, you know, and it's just, it's just a different feeling. It's just a different way they have to portray it. I know you guys can attest to this. There's a lot of stuff that happened in the books that didn't happen the way it happened in the books in the show. So you know, I'm used to that happening from from uh, from things being adapted from books um, to a TV show. It's it's hat. Um, there's stuff that is going to be different. There's stuff that has to be different. You know, there's stuff that you can write that you can't show. You know what I'm saying? That you can't really portray visually in, in a way that you'd want it to, to look because sometimes it's, um you know, the technology ain't there. You know, the visual aspect of it in there, the budget ain't there, which is a big deal when it comes on to TV series. The budget, huge deal, you know. So you may think that just because they can do something really extravagant, say um, the Battle of the Bastards, the Battle of Blackwater Bay, um, the whole dragons and things like that. They can't do that shit every episode. You guys got to understand that. Even though it may seem like they can. They made a shitload of money. That's why they could do season 7 the way they did. Where you could see. You were seeing the dragons almost every episode. You know. Almost every episode. Then you had the big battle there. With the. um, With um, when they went to go get the one. To go capture the one white. So the, they were making a shitload of money already, so they could have upped the budget for season seven, which and season eight is going to be even bigger. So in the previous seasons, when you know they're gathering all that stuff, they couldn't be doing that stuff all the time, and that's why sometimes you don't really see the dragons that often. You know, you don't see the dragons that often. There's no battles. You know, it is mostly dialogue and stuff like that, which I I appreciate. They can't do that stuff all the time. So thank you guys for watching once again. This was great. Um. I don't know why I started talking about that stuff, but anyways, I know you guys enjoy what I talk about. If you don't, you let me know. I know you guys. So you already know who it is, but everybody reacts. Remember to subscribe, put a like on this video, and also leave a comment in the comment section, which I know you will. Okay, so thank you guys for watching, man. Keep up the good works. We are growing over here almost, and we're about to hit 800 subscribers on the channel. I'm happy about that. Um, so... Thank you guys for watching. As always, this is your boy Terabyte Reacts, and peace.